Hey guys, gonna do another review. Uh, got some new ones again. So uh, we're gonna do this real quick and uh, take a look at them. First off, I uh, showed you my my large female bee wagons. Um, on my last one that I got yesterday, I got, let's see if I can show them in there. There's a male. Kind of hard to see, but you can see his legs sticking out there. There's my mature male bee wagons. So he's really big, really long legged. So I got them here shark tanking them so they're uh, hopefully I can get those two to breed. And then just got myself a new package today. I've uh, been waiting on this for a little while. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm gonna try to open it one time. So you'll have to forgive me if it's a little shaky. And there's a whole big thing of slings and some that are not so much slings. So it looks like uh, curly hair, unsexed curly hairs. Um, there's a female curly hair. There's a male curly hair. This is another B Wagons female, so I'm going to have two of them now to mate with. Uh, some of these I'm going to have to look on the order and see what they are. But there's a whole bunch of new. That's, these are all for my collection, so I'm not selling them. They're going to be around for a while. So yeah, there they go. There's a heat pack right there in there. So, so there's the new, new additions. I'm gonna cut the video, open them up, and then uh, we'll take some pic. I'll add on to the video, uh, showing the ones and what they are. Once I figure out what what came in on this order, because I don't know off the top of my head. So I will cut it, and we'll come right back. Okay, here's a look at the. Female Brachypelma Vagans. Yeah, she's big. She's real big. You see that bald spot on her butt. You can see the hairs that she's rubbed off in the pa in the paper towels. But she's beautiful. It's a big spider. So looks like she's good and healthy and made it on a trip okay. Okay, well cool. I'll uh, keep unpacking. Okay, here is the Brachypelma abopelusum female, the curly hair female. She's got, she's pretty small, she's probably about two, two and a quarter inches. I'm gonna walk her off of this. Very well, a real good temperament already, you know, you can see that she's not kicking hairs at me or nothing even after that, that trip here, so, got a great temperament to her. Um, this one will be the male. There's the male right there. Let's see if I can get him to walk off. Come on. There you go.
and I'm just touching his legs, just keeping him motivated to to walk. Again, not kicking hairs at all. Okay. Kind of hard to see him in all that brown. He kind of blends in. Okay, so, and then, here are my two unsexed. There's one there, and one there. So these two are, we don't know what they are yet. Yeah, he's alive, doing good. Yep. He's alive. Cool. All right. Okay, I'm kind of looking at my list of uh, of the rest of these slings to see what they are. I'm just going to give you the common names, but like on my other videos, I'll post up the the scientific names so you you know so you know what they are. But instead of me trying to pronounce some of these new ones I haven't had before, it's, you know, save me the embarrassment. So I'll learn them, you know. So when we do feeding videos, I can. I can say them, but uh, just their uh, their common names. This VV here is a Amazon Amazon Stripe knee. Um, this one will be the Brazilian Red Bird Eater. Um, this isn't the the uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, like my Brazilian Red and Whites. It's not those. The Chromatus. It's still in the Hondu though. This one's the uh, Carapononesis. Yeah, see, I should have just stuck with the common names. I'll learn it. That's a Brazilian red bird eater. Um, then I got my Chaco Golden Knees, these three up here. The Gramostola Poltripes. Um, let's see on my list what we got. This one here is a Colombian Black and Pink Dwarf. Pretty new to me. I haven't seen one of those. Um, this one here is an Indian Violet. And this is a Brachypelma Angustum, the uh, Costa Rican Red. You know, I remember I have that big adult uh, female. And people have been wanting to buy her, but she's not for sale, so I thought I'd bring in a sling. So I don't know if we'll keep it, but uh, you know, at least I have one for sale instead of everybody trying to buy the one that belongs to me. And then we got some of these freebies. The, the the seller that sold me these was was out of heat packs and was really apologetic, and that's why it took so long to get them in. Um, these say Rosie on them, so I'm assuming they're uh, G Rosea slings. We'll find out when we pop them up, pop them open. And this one is a an orange mouth tree spider. So I had to look it up on their website to see what what that one was right there, but. Uh, That'll be interesting. Haven't seen one of those. So, got a few new additions to the family. Pretty excited to have them. And uh, especially those, uh, having those, uh, those vagans, those brachy, brachy pelma vagans. So now we got two females and a male. Um, hopefully we get some good mating out of that. And then if you can see here, sorry about the clothes. If you can see here, I got my, uh, my regalis shark tank in them on the on the glass right there so um, I'm gonna start doing the breeding on them so cool appreciate everybody watching my videos leave any comments or questions try to get to them and have a good one all right so I got them all out into their uh, their temporary enclosures till they get a little bigger there's that uh, orange mouth tree spider little dot in the corner up there he's pretty tiny biggest one out of the slings I mean they're all pretty small the Indian violets semi big Let's see if I can get in the light ah let me grab a light hard to see with the glare so there's the Indian violet see him in the corner and he was fast he didn't want to go in there the Amazon Stripe is pretty big. He's the biggest one out of all of them. And then 
There's a couple rose hairs that they've thrown in. Sorry about the light. Try to get to where you can see it. A couple rose hairs. The Brazilian red bird eater. There's the being the Brachypelma and Gustum. And then the Chacos, little Chacos. And then the Colombian black and pink is right there in the corner. It's freaking tiny. It may be like 0.4 of an inch. It's really small. I didn't even see him. It was took me forever trying to find him in all the the paper towel. There they all are. And then I took the uh, all my uh, uh, wagons, Brachypelma wagons. There's the male. Large female, and we're not gonna see her. She's up in that hide, but I put her on that side, and then my other female that I have, there she is. So they're all shark tank together, the male in the middle. So hopefully we can. Uh, and I, I got a video I'm gonna post right after this um, of the male making the sperm web. So so it worked. Put them shark tank together. They've only been this way. Uh, for a day and he's already made a sperm web you can see what's left of it right there so yeah if you got uh, teas that you want to mate then I recommend doing this put them side by side you know so they can see each other and sense each other but they can't get to each other and it kind of gets them prepared to mate wanting to mate get him making a sperm web he hasn't made it till I did this and did it the day after I started doing it so so yeah well so we'll uh, start feeding them heavy and and uh, do a mating video. Alright, appreciate everybody for watching. Have a good one.